Welcome into Motorsports Monday. August is the biggest month of the year for dirt racing across the Commonwealth. And that continued this weekend. Richmond Race Raceway hosted the 36th annual Butterball Woodridge Memorial Saturday night. The weather was perfect and the stands were packed with fans. I'll tell you what, there's a long line to get into this one. Greg Johnson and Ricky Weiss starting on the uh, pole to start this one. The 59 lap feature was a good one. Johnson gets the jump, but it doesn't take long for Weiss uh, to power into the lead. Weiss, the Manitoba, Canada native, won last year's Butterball Memorial and travels all across the United States running dirt super late models. He had his hot rod hooked up in this one. He set a blistering pace and it was a relatively quiet feature with only two cautions. There was some great racing through the field with Dustin Linville coming from a 19th starting spot to finish in the top five. Weiss uh, gets the jump on a late rate restart and he is able to get the victory. Weiss takes home the $20,000 purse for the second straight season. I spoke with him after the race about his dominating win. My biggest fear was qualifying and we were able to you know, be fast in our group and, and get through the heat race and um, come feature time when it slicks off, that's kind of where we shine. So just uh, real proud of all my guys and all their hard work they put into this car. And, and the, of course the track, they did a great job on the racetrack and uh, we'll be back next year trying to make it three. Here's a look at the top five from this one. Tyler Carpenter comes in second place after apparent second place finisher Kyle Hardy failed post race inspection. Verona's own James Rice had a hard charge late as well. He comes in third. Ross Bales finishes fourth with the rooster Dustin Linville. As I mentioned, he came from 19th. He finished fifth in this feature. The Modifieds were up next with Cole Falloway out of Owensboro getting the feature win. Trent Young came in second place. Local drivers Zach Powers, Dennis Roberson and Josh Hampton round out the top five and what I hear was a great race there. The final race of the night was the crate late model feature. Waco Zone Justin Ratliff started outside front row and he's able to get the win. Jason Barrett finished second with Daniel Dial Clay Turner and Elliot Williams rounding out the top five. The action packed month of August wraps up next week for the local dirt guys. The 12th annual Harold Hargrove Memorial is at Lake Cumberland Speedway. Hope to see you all there. On to NASCAR now, the Cup Series in Western New York at Watkins Glen International Raceway. With only two races left until the playoffs, several big names, including Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, and Bubba Wallace, have yet to lock themselves into those playoffs. Last week's winner, Michael McDowell, wins stage one in this one, but that would be the end of his hot streak. He had pit road penalties on his next two pit stops and then eventually had an issue engine issue later on in the race with McDowell's issues. Williams William Byron is able to take over the top spot. Big issues though for ben, uh, Byron's Hendrick Motorsports teammates. Chase, Chase Elliott runs out of gas late in stage two and that would take him out of contention leaving him in a must win scenario next week at Daytona. Kyle Larson also got busted for a pit road speeding penalty which ruined his day as well. But all good in the end, William Byron able to dominate the race for Hendrick Motorsports, never giving up control after taking the lead. So NASCAR gets really exciting next week. Uh, they have an elimination race coming up at Daytona, which is the you know biggest track in NASCAR. A lot of eyeballs going to be on that yeah. one Saturday night. Uh, it's before the college football season kicks off, so it's kind of like the end of the NASCAR regular season comes at a good time where could get a lot of attention there Saturday. Okay. All righty. That is your Motorsports Monday with Dylan. We appreciate y'all tuning in this morning.